Today we've got two tiny cameras with very different design philosophies, but they could be used for similar situations for those creating online content. The GoPro Hero 7 Black is the current pinnacle of action camera design. It's got great stabilization, an easy to use menu system, and can record in up to 4K 60 frames per second. The Sony RX0 Mark II, on the other hand, isn't really an action camera, but can also fill the role of a stealth video camera. It's got a huge one inch sensor, a mic input jack with good preamps, and a flip up screen for monitoring while in use. Look at that thing, it's incredible. Which of these would work best as an out and about online video camera? Let's find out. <laughs> What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Right off the bat, I totally understand that these cameras are not necessarily marketed to the same audience. However, us online content creators are crafty folk, and we will fit the round camera into a square usage peg all day long. And these are two video cameras we would definitely be looking at for vlogging or like location shooting. But bottom line of the video up front, again, I like both of these cameras. Either could work perfectly well as a run and gun tiny stealth video camera. I really like the stabilization, weight, and the slow motion capabilities of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Pound for pound, like I said in the intro, it's the best action camera. This is the peak of action camera development. But, and something that really surprised me making these series of videos, I really like the image quality, the audio flexibility, and the flip up screen of the RX0 Mark II. I mean, I like this camera way more than I thought I would. I mean, it does come with a price. This is twice as expensive as the Hero 7, but you do get some incredible results for the extra money. Since we are talking about a GoPro today, I would be absolutely remiss if we didn't compare these two cameras against the, wait for it, Pillars of Action! 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 I love, I love saying that. First up, video quality. Now these two cameras don't exactly line up one for one in the video recording department. They both do have great results for what they are, but they approach the topic a little differently. The Hero 7 Black has a something size sensor. Again, we never, like they've never reported what it is. It's probably a one over 2.3 inch and it can record up to 4K 60 and 1080p up to 240 frames per second. The Sony RX0, we do know the specs for. It has a one inch 15.3 megapixel sensor, can record up to 4K 30 and 1080p ish up to 240 frames per second. It's really hard. It's really hard to just straight up compare these two video wise. It's an action camera, it's a full featured camera. I mean, they're very different, even if you might use them in similar circumstances. For being an action camera, the Hero 7 Black does great. It has fantastic frame rate options, great dynamic range, the stabilization we'll talk more about later, but it's off the charts, but it's an action camera. Like there's only so much quality you can get out of a tiny, teeny, 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 tiny little sensor. The RX0 is not an action camera. It's small and portable, yes, but it is a fully functioning, almost full featured, legitimate camera. And if there's anything that I've realized after the last week is this is a full featured camera. The image quality looks incredible. I mean, it should for the price. And with that 3.5 millimeter audio jack built into the camera, you can easily use full featured microphones. Like we saw on Wednesday, I used my legitimate microphone setup with this camera. This thing's fantastic. You'll probably get some noise like in the in the shadows over here. So don't be surprised by that. But I think like the, that's what these two are good at in their respective lanes. When you consider what they're not as good at, you can kind of get a more defined picture of what you might actually use them for. Because of that small sensor, the GoPro does not do well in low light. So if you use this in low light, the camera will have to push its ISO to unusable levels or shutter speed to like, terrible levels in anything but perfect lighting. The RX0 will overheat and shut off after about 15 minutes of 4K recording. Another big difference between the two, because the RX0 has a bigger sensor, there is a depth of field to it. There is a part of the video that is in focus and a part that is out of focus. While the GoPro, everything is in focus. So when you're using the RX0, you will need to make sure that your subject is in focus. It does have an autofocus single mode that works perfectly well, but once you hit record, you can't change the focus again. So if you record and then you miss your focus, you have to stop recording, refocus, start recording again. So that is something you're gonna have to worry about. With those caveats out of the way, I can't complain about either camera. I mean, I can't fault 
either camera for how their images turn out. I mean, they are the best at what they do. And the RX-0 is a really kind of unique niche camera, but it's image quality like it's incomparable. It's just so much better. I mean, you will have to decide, do you want the better stabilization and recording times, or do you want the better image quality and audio? Like it, you got to pick, neither's perfect. You got to pick between the two. We don't normally do this for the pillars of action, but I feel this is something that you'll probably want to see. So don't take my word for it. Let's hop outside real quick for a video slash vlogging test. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the vlogging test of the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the Sony RX0 Mark II. Now, I know we don't normally do vlogging tests when it comes to action cameras, but since the RX0 isn't necessarily an action camera, and I'm more comparing these cameras as tiny, all you can take little like platforms, uh, we're still gonna do a vlogging test. Why? Because I like making these videos. <laughs> Record, vlogging test begin. Whoa! Okay, and again, this is the vlogging test of the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the Sony RX0 Mark II. Now, the Sony is being recorded in 4K 24 frames per second, whereas the GoPro, I'm doing 2.7K at 24 frames per second. And the reason for that is that's the lowest, that's the highest the GoPro can go and have linear mode uh, because I don't like using the wide angle lens, the super wide angle lens. So it's still gonna be wider than the RX-0 because the RX-0 is a 24 millimeter equivalent lens, which is fine. I mean, I think that's perfectly wide enough for doing vlogging stuff. Cause look, look at all this bounty out here. Uh, but though, but those are some differences you might find. Uh, yeah, when, you're come, when it comes to vlogging, again, we'll talk about this more in like ease of use, but nothing beats having a screen. Like it's not necessarily about, oh, I'm a love just seeing myself because that's all I do when I'm a YouTuber. I just love seeing myself. Uh, I actually get quite sick of seeing myself because not only do I have to see myself in the screen, then I have to edit video of me talking or doing stuff for hours every week. Uh, so if you ever are like, man, I, w I wonder if YouTubers ever get sick of actually seeing themselves or listening to themselves, the answer is yes. <laughs> but having this flip up screen just makes it easier to frame, easier to know what the settings are. Like I have no idea what's going on with the GoPro right now. I do trust the GoPro uh, because it just has everything in focus. It has a, it should have everything in focus. The stabilization is second to none. Um, and it's just, it's a camera that I've, it's a camera that I've taken with me a lot of places and I just trust it and it's super durable, which the RX-0 Mark II is also supposed to be super durable. Um, I, yeah, both cameras are actually pretty, they're pretty impressive for what you can do. The RX-0 Mark II is twice as expensive as the GoPro. So if you don't specifically need like the flip up screen, could you save some money? Yeah, it's kind of the point of the video that we'll find out today. But uh, yeah, this is the vlogging test. This is the image quality you can get. Stabilization's turned on on both. Audio from the GoPro, audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three, audio from the RX-0, audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, I do really like both of these cameras. Vlogging test complete, back to the video. <laughs> Next up is the pillar that's nearest and dearest to my heart, ease of use. GoPro currently rules the small camera world when it comes to ease of use. The Hero 7 Black has a huge touchscreen on the back that makes cycling through the menus to change your settings or recording modes a snap. Just like Thanos, a snap. Making that joke like three months late. Hands down, this is my all time favorite way to change settings inside of any camera. With just a few taps, you've changed your frame rates. And with a few more taps, you've changed your recording resolution. And a few more taps, you've changed your white balance, your shutter speed. You can change anything with just a few taps super easy. The RX-0 does have more functionality, so it's going, no matter what, it's going to be harder to navigate through to change the settings. Plus, instead of a touch screen, you have to use these up and down and side to side arrows, which are okay to press when you're just barehanded. Um, but if you have gloves on, you'll screw it up. And sometimes it is too easy to hit it too many times and skip over what you want. So on the plus side, when you are actually recording, you get a little flip up screen to monitor everything. So you can see your settings, judge your exposure and ensure correct framing and audio levels from in front of the camera, which for ease of use, that's a big win. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's not a perfect system. Like I mentioned before, this doesn't have continuous autofocus. Uh, the one thing that I will say, the one negative about the flip up screen is it's a little too small to judge focus. So you really have to trust that single autofocus system because you don't have to worry about it too much because with a small sensor, it has a deeper depth of field, but it's just, you, you just got to put your trust in the system because dialing it in is pretty tough. Thirdly on our trip down pillar lane, 
durability. And I'm laughing because this one is a pretty even draw. Both of these cameras are probably the most durable you're gonna find. I mean, it's funny when I, I'm laughing because it's funny when I say this because I just imagine that these are, these are just monster durable cameras. I mean, they're both waterproof, both have replaceable lens covers, and both can take a hit and just keep going. There's a crappy table to judge that on, but yes, they can take a hit. The RX does feel far stronger than the GoPro. I mean, I don't know what the structural chassis specs are, but if we had to go which one feels the most durable, the Sony feels like it's ready to hold up my car. I mean, we're not gonna try that because it's a loner, but it feels like it could do it. At least one of my motorcycles. I mean, really though, I wouldn't mind having either of these with me on an, any adventure. They are both at the top. I mean, they both, the thing that I worry about is I bring a smaller camera, I'm worried that I'm gonna scratch, it's gonna break or something, but I don't worry about either of these. Fourthly, and one of the big ones, especially for an action camera or a small camera in 2019, stabilization. These both do have electronic image stabilization built in. The GoPro has their patented hyper smooth technology and the Sony is rocking an electronic steady shot. Now, they both sound impressive, but this is not a fair comparison. The GoPro easily wins. Frankly, much like ease of use, nothing on the market matches the Hero 7 Black for stabilization. I mean, gimbals have a hard time keeping up with this thing. Hypersmooth can make handheld footage of any kind look insanely smooth. I've taken this running just handheld, and while yes, there's still some shaking in the video, it, it makes the footage usable. And I've said this on several occasions, but my action camera gimbal, my Feutech G5, it died the day I got the Hero 7 Black. Like, do you see all this stuff back here? This is like all my camera stuff that I use like frequently, and I have no idea. My gimbal is lost in there because I just don't need to use it. And that's just a, this GoPro is just a hard act to follow up. So while I'm glad that Sony included stabilization with the RX-0, and it's fine if you're simply holding it and vlogging, uh, anything else other than that, and the stabilization will not hold up. It's not perfect, I mean, I'm glad it's there, but it doesn't do as well as I would hope. And last, but certainly not least, Compatibility with GoPro style mounts and accessories. Well, thankfully the Hero 7 Black is absolutely compatible with its own line of first and third party accessories. Congratulations Hero 7 Black, you win this round. Well, not so fast because the RX-0 isn't that far behind. It has a quarter inch tripod mount on the bottom and it's got a whole host of its own first party accessories. Some of them are very expensive, but they are there. Um, but even third party, there are action camera gimbals that will support the RX-0, and you don't really need an audio accessory when it's got a built-in audio port. I would say that the accessory category is a dead even draw. But at the end of the day, so what, right? Which of these two would I pick for a travel adventure stealth camera? This is a tough one for me. Like, this is a tough one for me because I really like both cameras. But personally, and this is shocking to me because I've spent the last, like, what, ever since the Hero 7 Black has come out, it's won every contest I've had about it. But personally, I would take the RX-0. Like I mentioned earlier, it's almost a fully functional camera with just about every feature you would want. The image quality is great, the audio is great, it's crazy small, and it just works. The GoPro is still the best action camera, but if you want something more, if you want better image quality for YouTube videos or family travel videos, and you're willing to spend that extra money, absolutely get the RX-0. Or if you also want a combination stills camera, get the RX-100 Mark V for even more versatility. Thanks for watching.